went wrong in part is that the peaceful protest got hijacked by troublemakers. It could have been a deliberate setup. Eventually, as hardcore rioters set fire to scores of police cars and fire engines, along with a police station, the security forces reacted with some ferocity. There were certainly some deaths and scores of people were wounded. Among those watching was a British graduate student who saw cold-blooded murder. She went to listen and drew revolvers and fired directly into the crowd with seven shots in all. Ten minutes later, we saw an ambulance draw up. We ran down to the ambulance. We were told by the people on the ground that three people had been killed. Now, night has again fallen on this troubled capital. A petrol tanker has been set ablaze by demonstrators. We have seen images eerily reminiscent of another Asian tragedy, the crushing of the democracy rebellion in Peking's Tiananmen Square. The hardcore of Bangkok activists, swollen to light by tens of thousands of sympathetic onlookers, are seizing buses to build barricades. The impact on Thailand's peaceful reputation, its tourism and money markets will be horrendous. This capital tonight is back on a collision course. Many people in this crowd talk openly of revenge for those who've died already. Brian Barron, BBC News, Bangkok.